On Tuesday, House Democrat Elijah Cummings clashed with the White House, alleging that the Trump administration had refused to comply with Democrats' repeated investigations into the process of issuing security clearances. Cummings and Democrats have drawn criticism from Republicans and the White House for their repeated probes and investigations, with the security clearance probe specifically appearing to target President Trump's family. White House counsel Pat Cipollone has, in turn, accused the House Oversight and Reform Committee, of which Rep. Cummings is the chairman of unprecedented and extraordinarily intrusive demands. As the two sides have continued to clash, Cummings has accused the White House of stonewalling attempts at furthering the probe into security clearances and has vowed to keep the investigation going. House Oversight and Reform Committee Chairman Elijah Cummings, D. Maryland, on Tuesday criticized the White House for failing to comply with requests for documents and interviews in connection with his panel's probe into the Trump administration's security clearance process. Cummings, who said he would consult committee lawmakers to determine our next steps to obtain those materials, also released a new letter written by White House counsel Pat Cipollone in which he accused the committee of making unprecedented and extraordinarily intrusive demands in the course of its probe. Cipollone also argued that the committee was overstepping its oversight powers with the requests, writing that the decision to grant or deny a security clearance is a discretionary function that belongs exclusively to the executive branch. Cummings on Tuesday blasted the White House counsel's argument as defying the constitutional separation of powers, decades of precedent before this committee, and just plain common sense. The White House appears to be arguing that Congress has no authority to examine decisions by the executive branch that impact our national security, even when the president's former national security advisor has pleaded guilty to lying about his contacts with foreign government officials, Cummings said. There is a key difference between a president who exercises his authority under the Constitution and a president who overrules career experts and his top advisors to benefit his family members and then conceals his actions from the American people, the top Democrat said.